Welcome to the roof episode. Today, the hemp house is getting a hat. Bam. All right, you've joined us up on the roof. Um, you can see we've got the batten all the way around. But I'm going to be telling you a little bit about what we've been doing on the roof to get it to this stage and what we've got left to do to finish it. So what we had to do was fit the trusses and what that means it was a prefabricated roof so they basically made these big triangles in a factory and they turned up on a flatbed lorry and we just had to install it according to the, um, to the structural engineer's drawings. So that was pretty straightforward. Uh, the only part of the roof we sort of had to cut and pitch ourselves was the corners of the roof frame because uh, I think they were too small to be prefabricated in a factory, so they just sent us lengths of timber for that, so we cut and fit them ourselves. But it was easy enough, it was just following the rafter line, um, and we had to cut down through the hemp to make grooves for the rafters to sit down into, which was super easy to do. Despite the hemp being really solid, it was actually really easy to cut just with a, a handsaw, and it cut nice, neat lines. Um, so that was it, we got the roof frame in, and then uh, after that, we went around and we chopped all of the rafter ends where we needed them to accommodate the fascia being fitted to. And we also added some additional timber work on the back for the soffit to be able to fit to. And the soffit we used was a vented soffit, which basically means it's got a, a, a grooves cut out of it to allow airflow to come from the outside up into the soffit space. Um, and then it, the idea is it travels from the soffit space into the loft and it prevents dry rot. So we did that all the way around, uh, and then we went straight on to felting the roof, which was bloody difficult because it was really windy. So we had a bit of a struggle doing that. Not to mention the rain, we've had some rain days and some thunder slowing us up a bit, but, but we pushed on, we got the felt on, uh, then we went on and we started fitting the batten all the way around, fitting things like this dry valley that we've got here. I've got a Velux window that we fitted. Um, also things like these, these uh, metal brackets you can see and that what that is part of is a dry ridge system and we'll show you a little bit about more about about that later but you have to put these in first um, which brings us to where we are now so we've got the roof ready to load out with tiles and and start tiling it so yeah lots we've got 4,000 tiles to get up so we're gonna get going <laughs> That's the roof tile now. If you've been wondering what these old tiles are that we've got dotted around the roof, they're just some tiles that we, we recycled back in episode one and uh, we've reused for this. After that, we then went around and fit the ridge and hip system. Um, and earlier I showed you the metal brackets that we fit down ready for this. And the way it works is we fit a timber, a, t a, a batten between the metal brackets, which runs up the length of the hip and is secured down with the metal brackets and then we laid a weatherproof flashing over the top of them, uh, followed by finally laying down the ridge tiles, which are screwed down with these washer plate type things. Um, after that, we then went around and fit these plastic end caps, um, 
which basically means there's no cement on the roof, right? Because usually you put cement there and you might set these down with cement, but with this dry ridge system, there's going to be no maintenance and no cement, which is good. After that, we went and fit the guttering to catch all the rainwater off the roof. And that's ready to connect on the downpipes later on after we've rendered the outside of the house. But that brings us to the end of the episode. I'm going to have a well-deserved break now to rest up my knees after being stood on the roof for a while. Um, so we're not going to be back till late September. But if you want a notification for when our next video comes, you can click on the bell and it will notify you. Um, but yeah, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, have a nice summer and we'll catch you next time. But I've just got one more thing to do before I go and that is fill a big hole that I've left in the roof. Thank you.